our God gave us the precious breath of life. And we abuse it by filling our lungs with the substances of Satan. Our God gave us a mouth to preach his love and his forgiveness. And we abuse it by spreading hate, condemnation, and lies. And then we run to him when life gets hard, expecting him to forgive us and to accept us again. Our God gave us ears to hear the very earth and everything in it praise his name. And we abuse him by listening to the very heartbeat of Satan through gossip and rumors. Our God gave us hands to work for his glory and to enable ourselves to be better stewards of his word. And we abuse them by touching the unclean things of this unholy world and everything in it which is full of darkness. Our God gave us our feet to walk to his house on every appointed opportunity to fellowship with the believers and to carry his word into foreign places which otherwise are left uneducated about his love. We abuse them by walking to and fro into the snares of fornication and to the very house of Satan himself, intoxicating ourselves with his poison and his menacing ways. And with these very feet, which were meant to be a blessing, we used to trample the holy blood of Jesus Christ that he shed through his love for us. Honestly, nothing pleases us more than pleasing ourselves. And that should not be. Nothing we have is ours. Everything we have came from God. And mankind has distorted the very holiness of our bodies and what we were meant to do. Damning ourselves to that dark pit called hell. We flirt with the devil without seeing the real danger behind his eyes. We don't deserve God's grace. Not at all. And yet, he is always there. Waiting. Honestly wanting us to return. He won't be there forever though. One day, enough will be enough. Because you see, revenge belongs to him. And his son's blood will not be made a mockery of. So open your eyes. Just cry out to God. Repent of your sins. Just turn from your wicked ways. Because on that day, we need to be found holy in his eyes. God is love, but ultimately God is holy. His holiness has to override his love for us. And mankind will be punished for their wrongdoings. My prayer is that the scales will be lifted from every human being's eyes and that God will be seen as the supreme reigning king once again. We need him in our lives because Satan will drag us down and mangle our bodies until there's nothing left. That's all he wants. That's all he's ever wanted. And he's succeeded so far. We say we're Christians. 
Let's prove it to God. I think he deserves at least that much from us.